Hello, in this video, we're going to go over problem two from IMO 2020. So the problem is this. The real numbers A, B, C are such that A is greater than or equal to B, greater than or equal to C, greater than or equal to D, and they're all positive. The sum is one, and we want to prove this given inequality. At this point, you probably want to pause the video if you haven't thought about this problem. Spend some time, you know, a couple hours, maybe even more, and come back and watch the video. Either compare this with your solution or, you know, see how I approach this problem. My purpose is not just to present the solution, but talk about how to think about a problem rather than just giving you the solution. Okay, so we're going to think about this problem in a systematic way. The first thing that I do is if I'm given an inequality, I would think about when does the equality happen? Because it would be nice to know when the equality happens so that the inequalities that you apply match the equality for that inequality. Unfortunately for this problem, we are given that the inequality does not ever become equality. In other words, it's impossible for this to be equal, which is one reason it makes the problem difficult. The other reason that makes the problem difficult is that there is not a symmetry between the variables A, B, C, D. As you see, the coefficients are different. The coefficients are 1, 2, 3, and 4 and that there is really no symmetry. So those two are reasons that make this problem difficult and honestly this is an IMO problem so it shouldn't be easy. Okay so I, as I always tell my students if you can solve a problem make the problem easier. So how do we make the problem easier? I have four different variables here a, b, c, d. I'm gonna think about how about if I look at only just one variable or two variables. Well, for one variable, the problem becomes obvious. It's just a, a equals 1, and you get a times a to the a is less than 1, which is, you know, obviously true, or in fact, it's less than or equal to 1. So I'm going to start with two variables, a and b. So that for two variables, a and b, I have a greater than or equal to b, and they're both positive. A plus b is 1, and we want to show that a plus 2b times a to the a, b to the b is less than 1. How do we do that? And I'm going to start from the, the most naive inequalities that we can think of. And if they work, that's perfect. If they don't, we'll modify that. The most naive inequality would be a to the a times b to the b is less than or equal to a to the a times a to the b, because b is less than a, which is a to the a plus b, which is a, because a plus b is 1. So if I replace that a to the a, b to the b by a, I would get a plus 2b times a. Now I know that a plus b is 1, so I can write this one down as 1 plus b times a, and distributing that we get a plus b a, and of course uh, a plus b a is less than a plus b, which is 1. And the reason is a is less than 1 because they add up to 1 and they're both positive. Okay, so we are done with the case of two variables. Now let's look at the case of three variables. Although this solution was too easy to be an IMO problem still, so probably there's a tweak that doesn't work for the four variable case. So let's just work that out and see what we get. So that's the first achievement that we had is to solve the problem for the case of two variables. So let's now look at this. Can we prove this one? And the inequalities are a greater than or equal to b, greater than or equal to c, and the sum is one. Okay, so I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I'm going to replace a plus b plus c by 1, and I'm left with b plus 2c. And I'm going to replace a to the a, b to the b, c to the c by a to the a, a to the b, and a to the c. So this gives me 1 plus b plus 2c, a, because a to the power of a plus b plus c is just a. This is a plus a b plus 2 a c well i can say that this is less than a plus b plus 2 c but this could be more than one so then i thought okay can i actually prove this inequality is it true that a plus a b plus 2 a c is less than one given the conditions of the problem so what I thought is, okay, let me just like take some cases. What if B is equal to C? I plug that in and I saw I get this inequality. Is this inequality true? 
And I realized that this inequality is in fact not true. If you plug in A equals 5, 6, and B and C both equal to 1 over 12, you'll end up getting 5, 6 times 1 plus 1 fourth, which is 5, 6 times 5 fourth, which is in fact 25 over 24, which is more than 1. Which means this method doesn't work for the case of three variables. And honestly, it shouldn't have because if this were the solution, it would, be, it would have been an easy solution for an IMO number 2. So now going back, and even though this is like kind of a setback, but we're going to take that and see what we can add to solve the problem. So let's go back and see what we had. So I do know that this term of a to the a, b to the b, c to the c is less than a, but the problem is when I replaced it by a, that became too large and sometimes it exceeds 1. Okay, so a to the a, b to the b, c to the c, plus 2c, a to the a, b to the b, c to the c. Okay, um, I still am inclined to replace these with a because these terms are quadratic. So the terms c times a and b times a are quadratic. If I can turn this one also into a quadratic because these numbers are between 0 and 1, quadratic is smaller than linear. So therefore, I probably would be able to solve this one. So how can I replace a to the a, b to the b, c to the c by some quadratic? And this was when I thought about the weighted AMGM. So if you look at the weighted AMGM, which I have I have this statement here. If the weights W1 all the way to Wn are all positive, satisfying um, W1 plus Wn equals 1, and x1 through xn are positive real numbers, then x1 to the power of W1 all the way to xn to the power of Wn is less than or equal to W1 x1 plus all the way to Wn xn. So for example, if all of the Ws are 1 over n, you get the usual AMGM. You get the nth root of product of x1 through xn is less than or equal less than or equal to 1 over n x1 all the way to 1 over n xn. This is the regular AMGM. Going back to this, I can write down a to the a, b to the b, c to the c. I know that the exponents a, b, c add up to 1 as less than or equal to a times a plus b times b plus c times c which is a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Okay, taking it back and uh, plugging that into what we had. Um, I'm going to replace product of 1 by that by a squared plus b squared plus c squared. So this would be a squared plus b squared plus c squared for the first term. For the second term, I'll replace this by a, because I also know this is less than a, so that becomes ba plus 2ca. Well, this is clearly less than a plus b plus c squared, and that is perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay, this is really nice. I'm really happy with the progress that we have made, but um, we are not there yet because we only showed that for three variables. Now, let's go back and look at the original problem, see if we can knock it down. So the, in the original problem, if you look at a plus 2b plus 3c plus 4d times a to the a, b to the b, c to the c, d to the d, this is going to be 1 plus b plus 2c plus 3d times a to the a, b to the b, c to the c, d to the d. Now, let's look at the a to the a, b to the b, c to the c, d to the d. This is less than or equal to a times a plus b times b plus c times c plus d times d by the weighted AMGM. So, and also a to the a, b to the b, c to the c, d to the d is also less than or equal to a to the a, a to the b, a to the c, a to the d, which is a to the power of a plus b plus c plus d, which is a. So that tells us, if I look at 1 plus 2, 1 plus b plus 2c plus 3d times a to the a, b to the b, c to the c, d to the d, this is less than or equal to 
the first term when you multiply this one by 1 it is less than a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared. The second term gives you b times, I'm going, I, I'm going to choose to replace a to the a, b to the b, c to the c, d to the d by a. So that would be b a. And then same thing for the th third term and same, same thing for the last term. Well, unfortunately, I have a 3d. So that's not going to be completely a perfect square. And it has like an extra term of 3D. But I'm missing the BA. So I can say this is less than or equal to A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus D squared plus I'm going to replace one of the DAs with BAs. So that, be, that becomes larger. It becomes 2BA, 2CA plus 2DA. And clearly this is less than A plus B plus C plus D squared, which is in fact 1. Because there are a lot of terms, for example, the term CB is missing, 2CB is missing. And that brings me to the end of this solution. If you like this video, make sure you check out the rest of the videos on my channel. I have a lot of videos like this, both in solving problems and also explaining concepts. And my method in solving problems is to not just present a complete solution, but provide you with the way I think about the problem when I see it. I walk you from step one all the way to the end of the solution. I will see you in another video.